Paul, good to speak to you. Uh, how are the Ditch at Thoroughbreds horses getting along? Yeah, coming on fine. Uh, you know, better ground now. We should get a few more out and some better results um, across the whole team. We've had, I think, five or six winners the last few days over the weekend and the horses are going well. Uh, you had a, a great day at Wincanton on Sunday. Yeah. That was magic. Well done. Yeah, nice winner there. Uh, obviously, Warriors tail one at Newbury on Saturday um, and then Contra 2 won yesterday at Mark Raisin. So we're in good form at the moment. And uh, as well as the winners, also had some horses running well, notably Ditch at Thoroughbreds Coastal. Yeah, yeah. yeah very pleased with Coastal Tiep on um, Friday at Newbury. He ran very well, stayed on strongly, probably should have made more use of him. Um, used his jumping. He made a mistake at the third last, which is crucial. He just got on the back foot, but he stayed on well. Um, come out of the race well. I'm thinking of looking at a three-mile handicap hurdle at the Cheltenham in the April meeting. Oh, that, and, could be, that could be a busy meeting for you because Antarctica de Tay might run there as well. Antarctica de Tay is going to run in the Mayor's Novice Chase. as a quite a valuable novice handicap chase for Mayor's. Quilcher Lass, so Digit Thoroughbreds are going to run in the Mayor's Novice's hurdle. And Maracuja is going to run in the two-mile novice chase. Brilliant. So that could be a busy meeting. Well, listen, let's just go through, if we can, one by one, the Ditch of Thoroughbreds horses. And let's start with the horse you just mentioned there, Quilcher Lass. How did she come out of uh, of Cheltenham? Fine. She came out there fine. Um, she was flat out most of the way. Just uh, Sam reported that she made a little bit of a noise. So we're going to try her tongue down next time and cauterize her palate in the summer. That won't be a problem. But, I mean, they just went an end-to-end -end gallop, really. Um, and I think two and a half suits are a lot better. Um, she's going to go back for a novice hurdle at Cheltenham in April over two and a half miles. That'll be her last run of the season. Um, and then nice holiday. Look forward to her next season. He's doing lots of work. He's not going to, I'm not going to run him until the start of the new, the new season. His point is he'll be ready to run him. We'll go summer jumper with him. He looks good. Please, his breathing operation seems to, appears to work, but um, we, I think we'll have a lot of fun with him on good ground during the summer. He's ready to run. I've just been waiting for good ground for him. Um, he, he, he's imminent to run. And again, it might be prudent to wait till the... Well, just see, if I win with him now, he's a novice till the 1st of November. If I work till the first, wait till the 1st of May, he's a novice for 12 months. So we'll, we'll take a view on that. But he's ready to go. Yeah, he's fresh and well. He's ready to go. Um, I entered him last week at Ludlow, but the ground was too soft. I might look at Aintree. I'll just talk to Foggy and see what he says. Or we'll wait for the Cheltenham April meeting. It's got a nice novice chase there. It might be sensible to wait for that, but he's ready to go. And of course, sunshine and fast ground, ideal. He had his palate cauterized the other day. He just wants a fortnight to be tuned up again. Um, and he's, he'll be ready to go. He, he worked nicely this morning. He's just had 10 days you know, on the quiet where he had his palate cauterized, ready to go about a fortnight's time. And he, we'll keep him on. Some of these will keep going into, into May on better ground. So we'll have plenty to look forward to in the summer. Yeah, yeah we'll keep everyone busy, yeah. Well, he, he, the idea with One Mighty Lamb was to give him a point-to-point -point run in April um, if we're happy with him. Cliff and I are going to go and watch him work in the next few days and then make a decision and it'd be nice to get a run into a point-to-point, -point, but he's next season's horse, really. She goes to air for the two-day meeting there for a mayor, three-mile mare's handicap hurdle. Um, unless Cheltenham previous to that was, uh, was soft, there was a two-and-a-half-mile mare's race at Cheltenham, but the ground probably be too quick for an April in Cheltenham, so she'll probably get to air on the Friday of the Scottish National Meeting for a valuable Mayor's Handicap Hurdle. He's got an entry on the flat this weekend at Doncaster, but that's a tentative entry. I'm just going to have a look. Megan's quite keen to, for me to run him in an apprentice race on the flat, but I think he wants further than a mile and a quarter, so I'll, I'll probably wait with him, unless the ground was soft. Montreal Cope, I'm in two minds with him. Funny thing is, a lot of the horses that ran ordinary when he was running ordinary on heavy ground have come out and won. And I'm half keen to give him a, a one, one run on better ground and just see if he improves on that run. He, he's been ticking away, obviously, you know, after his last run. He can't just turn him out. He can't wait. He can't go out in the field to the middle of May. So if he's all right and pleasing us, I might find a novice hurdle somewhere at Wincant or Taunton, Exeter, somewhere local on better ground and see how we fare. He's been a bit of a head scratcher this year, hasn't well, he? Well, he has. I think a lot of it he hadn't acclimatised. And I also think a lot of the horses have been stuck in the bad ground. And Contra 2 is a great example. Two ordinary runs, run on good ground yesterday and won. Capain de Clace pulled up at Wing Canton on heavy ground, good ground on the weekend, won impressively. Yeah. So I think he'll be just like them. Um, so that's a run through of the horses. Just quickly, congratulations because you got over the £2 million mark for prize money. That's a, a tremendous achievement. And you've done that for, for a number of years in a row now. You must be proud of that. 
Yeah, I think that's the 14th year on the trot where we've had £2 million in prize money. So we did that every year. We'd be well happy, obviously. Um, we're now sort of rocking on, A, trying to win the Trainers' Championship. I think as of today, we're about 114 grand behind Nicky, which a lot will depend on entry. And we'd love to beat our record of winners in a season, which was 155. So we're on 140 at the moment. So if we could have 16 more winners before the end of the season, that would be good. And last year, April was good with us. We had 29 winners in April. So we're, we're well on target for that. Perfect. Well, if 16 of them can be ditched at Thoroughbred Sources, we'll, we'll all... Yeah, I do. <laughs> um, Paul, many thanks. Not at all.